So we have what kind of what is a Ka of a strong acid like HCl? So if you remember, mm, it's tricky. The Ka of a strong acid like HCl. So they can actually give us a hint in the name right here, strong acid, because we actually don't even need to. We will check our acids and bases sheet but we actually don't need to. If you're dealing with a strong acid, the Ka is greater than one for strong acids. That is what this question is asking. What does that mean in regards to HCl? It means that when HCl reacts with water, it will completely dissociate, well, this eight hydrogen will completely get off the chlorine to where you only have these hydronions relaxing. That's all you'll get. And that means that the Ka value would be greater than one. We don't know exactly, we just know that it's greater than one because of the fact that it's a complete dissociation. Whatever value you have of HCl will be the same exact value you have of Cl and H3O once you're done. You pour some hydrochloric acid into water, completely dissociate, you get these. You start out with one mole per liter of hydrochloric acid, bam, you have one mole per liter of chlorine ions and one mole per liter of hydronium ions. So, with that being said, they actually were able to give a value. Um, if you look at the acids and bases sheet, it just says strong acid Ka greater than one. To find the um, Ka value, you really have to just look at the literature, whatever they say, um, just because it's just kind of like at a point when you go past one, it doesn't really matter what your value is, it just pretty much signif signifies that when you're put in water, you're not staying together. That's what it means by complete dissociation. So let's move on to question 12 now. All right. So we'll